What's up guys? Welcome back to Satisfactory. Thanks for joining me. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Let's see, I know it's been a little while since I posted anything about Satisfactory, but this game takes a lot of planning, and I just don't have time to do it. It's a lot easier to just turn on a game that's linear, play it, and that's it. This game takes me ages. Anyway, we need to finish the copper sheets, and then when we're done with that, we're going to come over here and start working on reinforced iron plate. And we're probably... No, not probably. We are going to take from the screws already being produced, which is 300 a minute. It's more than enough than uh, for what we need. And then, uh, yeah, that's the plan. That's still running good. None of those are running because everything's full. And these are running perfect. Everything is running great over here. So let's get started on the copper sheet. So the way I'm going to... I was going to split it right here, but... It's kind of a pain in the ass, and I didn't want to change anything. This is now overclocked to 350, because in order to run the top and the bottom, you need 350. So I overclocked this. It's at 350. And we're going to split it right here. It's going to split up, go up, and then run on its own system over here. We're going to first start with smelters. We need six of them. So we have the six smelters. Two of them need to be overclocked. Well, you can overclock one, but I'm going to just split it between the two. Uh, two of them need to be overclocked by 10. So, for example, this one, 30, so it'll be producing 40. And we'll probably do the same thing to this one. All right, I changed the design a little bit over here. It was going to be too weird and funky right here to split it, so I just split it right here. It's going up on its own path. We're going to hook these up. I don't know which ones I'm going to overclock yet, and I think we're probably just going to plumb it just straight in line. I'm not sure yet. Alright, hopefully that works. It looks clean. So I have it split right here. This is MK3, these are MK2s, the rest are MK1. Uh, right now these two are overclocked. I think I'm going to change that. I'm not sure just yet. I'm just going to leave it as is for right now. I think this one and this one should probably be overclocked. We'll wait and find out. We need to hook everything else up. But those are the smelters. All doing copper. Looks okay. Alright, now it's time for the constructors. So we need 10. We need 10 constructors. We're going to do it the same way we have it down here. We're going to face them in. Yeah, we're going to face them in. And then we'll just put another, another bin right here. And then we'll just go down to it. Alright, I'm going to get all this plumbed up. We're going to do... Combination of mergers and splitters. These are all going to be mergers in here, splitters out here, and then I'll figure out the belts. Alright, everything's plumbed. I don't have these turned on yet. They're not uh, selected to do anything. So I got mergers here. And splitters right here. These inside belts are all MK1. This is MK2. These are MK2. MK2 and MK2. The rest are all MK1. Same thing on this side. MK2, MK2, MK2. And this one also MK2. That should be enough. If anything, I might have to change these to MK3, maybe. Not sure yet. Before I turn these on, though, I'm going to get all this plumbed up. So I got to put a bunch of splitters down, and then we'll get it into here, and then we'll have our copper sheets.
Alright, so all these now are sat they're uh, they're all saturated. So everything is blocked up. I just gotta turn all these on. And everything should go as planned. All these inside belts are MK1. This one and this one is MK1. The rest are uh this one's MK2 and this one's MK2. And this conveyor is MK3. It doesn't have to be MK3, that just happens to be what's there. It could be MK2, it's fine. Let's turn everything on, see what happens. Hopefully it works. Copper sheet. So this is 100 copper sheets a minute. Uh, realistically, it's pretty easy to achieve kinda sorta early game. The only thing you would need is an MK3 miner. MK3 belts. Right now, for the reinforced iron plate, we're gonna need a miner over here. It's 180 a minute. And this is for 15 reinforced iron plate. I'm trying to make it a little bit more realistic for everyone else. As far as being able to build stuff. So I figured 15, it's a little heavy, considering I think the normal is what, 5 or something like that? But I think it'll be just fine. We will take the screws from here, so we don't have to create another factory for screws, since we have 300 a minute. Alright, so this is the initial layout I think I'm going to use. We need 5 smelters, 5 constructors, and 3 assemblers. I'm wondering if I should just split it from here on the inside and run it this way. Or if I should pull it from out here and run it around. I think it's going to make it look a little bit messy if I pull from out here. I think I'm going to just split it from here. We'll split it. Bring it around straight into into the assemblers right here. But right now we need to set up the smelters. Uh, we only need five smelters though. There, there's five. We're gonna try to line it up with that one. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's good. Five smelters. They're all going to be doing iron ingots. I'm not going to plumb this up just yet. This damn thing's in the way. And right, now we need five... Five constructors. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. And I think we're just going to give us a good amount of room. As long as there's enough room for that. So maybe something like this. nice and centered. I like that. And we need three assemblers over here. Let's make a blueprint for assemblers. How about that? Assemblers, we need three of them. I don't know how close I should put them. Not that close. Two away? Two notches? I will try two. Might be too much. Eh, that should be fine. Three assemblers, icon. Assembler, select icon, save blueprint. 
And just so y'all know, this is how much it costs to do that. 24 reinforced iron plate. 12 rotors and 30 cable. All right, so now we should have blueprints. Three assemblers right there. Let's put that on seven. So we need it turn this way. We need it enough room for <clears throat> excuse me the screws and everything else. We're gonna give it ample room. Try to center it, I guess. How about right? There. Plenty of room. This is going to be the tricky part, though. So we're going to have to do the multiple levels, right? So you need the splitters or mergers or whatever, and then you stack them so you can get everything in here. Holy crap. All right, I think I got it figured out. It took me a minute. This is how I have it ran right now. Comes up over that. And I have these here. They're just place markers for the time being. Actually, I think I'll probably use them because I like them just to make it look like it's being supported by something and I'll put um, let's see I could put small pillar or pillar frame something along those lines to make it look good let's see what could we use beam connector maybe this no that's way too big That's even bigger. What the hell can I use? This? If it'll let me put it on there? <laughs> it's not going to let me do that. So that's a problem. What about a beam? Oh, there we go. I could paint it later. Or just leave it. I don't know. But at least now it looks like it's being supported. So I'll just do that all the way around. I think... I think there's enough room to do that on these two. We'll wait... Uh, till last to do that. There, at least it looks... Relatively supported. Alright, so... Uh, let's see... We only need... 90. We need 90 iron plate a minute. This is producing 150, so we're going to have to underclock some of these. And I'm also thinking I'm going to separate these. I'm going to get rid of this blueprint and then line them up with these. It'll just look better, in my opinion. So we're going to do that. That looks better and the things won't be all wonky and I'm just gonna directly hook them straight to it and then we'll just um, underclock what needs to be underclocked well I think we're gonna have to forego the uh, supports over here because it's gonna clip which is fine. We don't need them over here. It looks decent over there, though. Alright. Got the screws hooked up. Conveyor belt threes. I made this one a two and this one a one. As far as these belts, all the inside ones are MK1. MK1. I believe this is... That's MK2. MK2 and this one's MK3, MK2, MK1, and all the inside belts are MK1. These are all MK1. Now I got an underclock, overclock. Actually, I think it's all underclocking. Yeah, it's all going to be underclocking. So I'm thinking since these are all individual, they're feeding 
you know, they're, they're all separate. Probably just underclock everything evenly. And then see what happens. Alright, I got everything hooked up. We have splitters here. The miner is overclocked. No, I'm sorry, underclocked to 180. Uh, this is a pure node, so bone stock, I think it's like 400 and something. Yeah, but we just need it at 180. MK3 belt all the way up here. These are MK2. The rest are MK1. All these are underclocked by three, every single one of them, because we don't need any more than that. All of these are underclocked by two, 18 per minute. These are all MK1 belts. This is MK1. All the inside belts are MK1. This is MK2. This one's MK2. That's MK3. This upper belt is MK1. This one's MK2. The rest are all MK3. And the inside belts are all MK1. This one is MK2. And this, uh, yeah, MK1. These are not unclocked or overclocked. They're doing exactly what they need to be doing. Uh, we need a storage. All right. We're just going to do the regular storage. Something like that. Probably not quite right, but it'll be fine. It's fine. We can do a merger and we'll get that set up. And we just need MK1 for these. Uh, this, uh, we'll just make this one MK2. Why not? There it is. 15 plates a minute. Reinforced iron plates. Hopefully everything's running. <laughs> it looks like it is. I think we're fine. As long as that doesn't drop. Yeah, it looks fine. They should all be at the same because they're running off their own smelter. Yeah, looks totally fine, I think. Oh, no. Not okay. Okay. I think I figured it out. My math is right. But it has something to do with the belts and the mergers. So what I've done was... These are all MK3. All the way. Everything on the inside is MK1. All the screws are MK3. Uh, everything else is MK1 except for these. Right here, they're MK3, but all the inside ones are MK1. Everything seems to be stable. Like, that should hit 31, I think. Maybe 32? Okay, yeah. It's working. Yeah, those numbers have been this the same for the last 10 or so minutes. I don't have the grid hooked up uh, because I'm out of time. I have to go do real life shit. I have no time. <laughs> I just, I need more time. If I can find a job that doesn't require my 50, 60 hours a week bullshit. So yeah, we got our copper sheets going. Which should be running just fine. Actually, it's probably full. I'm seeing blinking. It's all full. Yeah. yeah. Totally full. But it was stable. 
And everything down here is not running because it's full. And now we have the reinforced plates going, which will eventually be full. But it works. It's all that matters. Let's see, it needs to hit at least 31, if not higher. Okay, perfect. I think it's fine. Only time will tell, I guess. Anyway, we're going to end the episode here. I want to thank you for... Oh, look. Hello, Blug. Yoink. Yeah, thanks for joining me. If you want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Wild Pop Gaming, and I will see you in the next one.